The annual Guns N' Hoses boxing match tomorrow night has raised millions of dollars over the years for Backstoppers, the organization that helps the families of fallen first responders. But thanks to one man's compassion and talent, the fighters won't be the only ones in the boxing ring on Wednesday night. Sometimes all the color in this world seems to disappear. That's when Dennis Seiberg goes to work trying to bring some of it back. Painting is something that, you know, lasts forever. The 57-year-old studied art in college and then got sidetracked. He opened Cyberg's restaurant on Gravoy with his three brothers and two sisters back in 1981. We've grown since then. We have eight locations now. In fact, for the last few weeks, he's turned the banquet room of Helen Fitzgerald's restaurant and pub into his art studio. His canvas is his escape from the kitchen. I do lots of landscapes and lots of florals. I do lots of children. I love doing portraits of children. But this time of year, his oils often get diluted with tears. It does really take a toll sometimes. On Wednesday night, Cyberg's latest portraits will be on display at the Guns and Hoses boxing event and then given to the families of all the fallen first responders from the past year. This is Leonard's room, his memory room. This is where we hang out a lot. Darnita Riggins never misses Guns and Hoses, but eight years later, she still misses her husband every day. It was November 2008 when firefighter Leonard Riggins rushed to help after witnessing a car wreck. His wife says he'd always stopped to help. This time, though, the driver was a carjacker and Riggins was shot and killed. Deep down in my heart, I do wish he hadn't stopped. I do. But what do you do? That's him. That's him. That was his DNA. But above the fireplace in the living room, Leonard is still watching over his family. So that smile that you see on his face, it just brings joy into my home. The pain was so fresh, Darnita can barely remember meeting Dennis the night she got the painting. But I would love to be able to say something to him in the state of mind I am in now. And what would you say? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. May God bless you. He could charge hundreds or even thousands of dollars. But Dennis paints all these portraits for free. It's just a gift that I have that I can, can share with other people and, and do some good with it. His latest labor of love is for a young widow and her two-year-old son. St. Louis County Officer Blake Snyder. His little guy knows, is going to know Dad. Whether he's there or not, he's going to know who his dad was. Officer Snyder is just one of four new portraits this year. I guess the, the goal is to paint none. None. That's our, our goal. When words fail, his brush strokes speak. Fallen first responders that will soon be going home, thanks to an artist that is their color guard. Hopefully this will bring some kind of comfort to them. Dennis often does more than one painting for a family, and he never charges a dime. He says it's the least he can do.